quick, welcome to another episode of DIY GG where I create all things geeky and creative and show you how to make them. So today, we are going to be making some geeky doormats and uh, what you're gonna need for today is a blank doormat. I got this at Ikea, it was about $5. Scissors, tape, exacto knife and ruler, cutting board, wax paper, and an enamel spray of paint. I am using dark brown today because we're going to spray it on top of this one. You can actually choose any color you like, but I kind of want to keep it natural looking. So the first thing you need to do is determine how big you want your mat to be. Specifically today, I'm going to be creating an enter key um, from the keyboard. So those are square shaped, and I don't want this to be too small, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it about this size. Since the old school key shapes were these weird little backward L shapes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a little rectangle right here. Keep in mind when you're cutting this, this is a doormat and you don't want it to be too small. Now that you have your basic key shape, go ahead and round off all the corners. Now you can go ahead and grab your tape and leave about a one inch gap around all the edges. I like to do the round edges separately just because it makes it easier to bend the tape. Once you're done with that step, place a piece of tape on each corner. Be sure to place on the tape firmly. Now you can cut out your letters. I'm using wax paper. You can actually print out your letters if you like, but I just went ahead and drew them. So since we're using wax paper, this is too lightweight and it's just gonna fly away when I spray it. So I'm going to tack it down with some toothpicks. You can use thumbtacks if you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just boop and make sure that you don't tack it down too hard because you don't want the edge to curl up. So once your letters are all in place, you're gonna go ahead and get your spray paint and do this in a well-ventilated area. I'm doing this outside and I have this little thing protecting the ground. So you're gonna wanna shake your can and stay, do not saturate the mat. So what you're gonna wanna do is just stay probably about six inches away from the mat and just spray evenly. So once you're done with that, you're gonna let it dry and then you can remove all of the tape and stuff. So there you guys have it, your very own enter doormat. So you can have it like this, outlined, or, which is my favorite personally, like this, without the outline. Realistically, you guys can make any key you want. I just thought it was super cute because it's an enter button, you know, like enter my house, but press enter on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this DIY GG helpful and uh, go try it on your own. If you do, go ahead and send your creations to at ihascupquake at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at ihascupquake. Also, in the description, leave something you'd like to see me create next. Any suggestions or ideas that you have, leave them below. But I'm Cupquake and I'll see you all later. Bye.